Hey YouTube, today I am replacing front brake rotors on a 2020 G01 BMW X3 3.0i. I assume this is the same with the um, the 2.0 version. Um, anyways, last uh, about two weeks ago, uh, my brake pad warning light came on, so I replaced just the pads. Uh, the rotors are still fine. There's nothing wrong with the rotors. Uh, but over the last two weeks, I've been feeling like you know what, I should have just replaced everything and not just skimp out on the rotors. So I ordered rotors and they just arrived. I'm putting, uh, so I'm doing the, the work twice. Two weeks ago was the pads. Today uh, it, uh, are the, the rotors. Um, okay, so uh, uh, sit back, please hit subscribe and like. Uh, here we go. All right, so this first step is easy enough. Jack your car up. Uh, follow my other video on how to jack the entire front. Um, here's a quick glance. Uh, I have a video that you place the jack right in the circular area at the front and lifts the entire front end up. And then um, I placed it on ESCOs. Okay, so I have two flat top ESCOs, not those uh, V or axle uh, type of stand that may damage the bottom of your uh, BMW. Uh, so the flat top ESCOs are perfect for this. So they're up on stands, but I still, uh, uh, I left my floor uh, jack, hydraulic jack here, just for the heck of it. Anyways, um, so you remove your wheel, easy enough, okay? And then to do, if all you had to do were the pads, you just remove this bolt, and then there's another one right here, okay? You remove those two bolts, and then the entire caliper will slide out, okay? Um, hook it on a wire or something and uh, hook it up to your uh, coil spring because you don't want to put tension on the brake line, okay? And then you replace your brake pads. Uh, I, I think there are plenty of videos uh, how to replace uh, brake pads out there. Okay, so that part's easy enough. But for me, uh, since I just did the brake pads two weeks ago and my OCD kicked in, uh, so I'm doing just the rotors today. So what I will be doing is removing the entire caliper, including the bracket. So I'm removing this M12 bolt here, and then there's another M12 bolt at the bottom. The M12 caliper bracket requires a special socket. I'm not sure if you can just stick a regular socket, it will go over it, uh, but this is the, uh, I think it's an E-type, number 16, okay? That's what you need um, uh, to remove the, the bracket. Okay, here's a closer shot of that bolt, that M12 bolt in the back, okay? And here is my uh, socket there you go okay and you just unfasten this one and then there's one right below it okay so I have to put um, it's on there really good so I'm putting the camera down so I can uh, remove the bolts okay here's the top one I already unfastened the bottom one for a little visual. All right, now I'm gonna have to put the camera down because one hand has to support the weight of the caliper and then the other hand to remove the um, uh, bolt. And then I'm gonna um, mount it up on my handy dandy uh, coat hanger here. All right, guys, there you go. Um, here is that bolt, I'm not quite sure what you call it, Torx, uh, Torx head, I guess, uh, E-type. Um, there you go, just unfasten it, and there it is, just a simple coat hanger, tie it up there so that my brake line is not stressed. Okay, there you go. Then next step will be to unfasten this, uh, 
all you need is a six millimeter uh, Allen socket. There you go. Six millimeter. It's not on there very tight. I think it's like 16 Newton meters or something very close to that figure. So it come, the other side came off pretty easily. Okay, here you go, in real time. Oh, there you go. Oops, so there you go. The rotor came loose. Um, sorry guys, I don't have a stand for my camera, so I'm just holding this by hand. So I'm gonna put the camera down again, remove the rest of that. Uh, oh, never mind, it's here. It already came out. Um, I'm just gonna remove this rotor. Let me see if I can do it one-handed. This thing is pretty hefty. Good gracious, it's heavy. Okay, there you go. All right, I'm gonna put this down and uh, go prepare the new uh, rotor. All right, guys, so here is the new rotor from BMW, uh, part number 3411-6860-907. Okay, and this is how it came packaged and both rotors were very well padded inside a uh, much larger box. Uh, comes from the factory with this uh, anti-corrosion coating. Um, you don't have to do anything. I sp I'll spray some uh, brake cleaner just for the heck of it, uh, but you do not need to remove this. Uh, as you brake, uh, this coating will come off. Okay, so we're back over here. I just sprayed some brake cleaner um, around the uh, both inner and outer uh, braking surface. Uh, I applied a little bit of uh, the uh, copper anti-seize uh, just because there was a little uh, little surface rust uh, around that area because um, I'm here in the salt belt, okay? All right, that's it. Now I'm gonna uh, put the rotor up and install the uh, hold down uh, screw right here. All right, guys, there you go. Put the rotor on, install the six millimeter Allen using a Allen uh, head socket. Very easy. I believe it was 16 Newton meters of torque for that one. Okay. And then now um, I am going to open my brake fluid reservoir cap because I need to uh, use a tool to spread the pads a smidgen, maybe one millimeter. Because remember, these pads are uh, are brand new. I just installed them two weeks ago. Uh, so I'm just gonna spread them out a smidgen, maybe one millimeter, just so that, uh, you know, the, the pads will fit over top of the new rotor, okay? By the way, guys, this tool is awesome. I borrowed this from my buddy. Uh, it's a Hazet or Hazet, uh, made in Germany. Uh, very expensive. Uh, I think it's uh, around $250, $250, but very well made. And you know what makes this job so much easier? Um, anyways, uh, you just put it in here and then crank on the handle and spreads the pad just enough, uh, about a millimeter. Uh, and then there's, that's it to it. All right, guys, so there's the top bolt, it's on, it's not torqued yet. And then there's the bottom with my socket on there. All right, so tighten both the top and the bottom to 110 Newton meters. Uh, that equates to 81 foot pound, okay? Make sure you use a good torque wrench. This is my handy dandy uh, precision instrument. Uh, you know, not cheap, but I uh, bought it many years ago and has served me well. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, both bolts torqued to 81 foot pound. Job is complete. 
all you have to do now is put on your your wheels back on and torque your wheels to the proper torque and uh, load it back down and go and uh, drive to uh, break in your or, or bed in your uh, um, the new rotor to get some of that brake pad material on your new rotors. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below. Uh, let me know if I did anything wrong or if I missed a step. Thanks for watching. Bye now.